Hey everybody, it's your old pal Chuck, and I'm back with another review. And today we're taking a look at from the Job Braver line. This is Carrie Braver with Coco Oro, his little uh, partner. Coco, no, Coco Ro, Coco Ro. Yes. Uh, um, this is the Sakai Moving Service Truck. I do believe this is a licensed property. This is actually the second use of the mold. The first one was licensed differently. I actually um, canceled that order when this one uh, went up for pre-order because I like the colors more and I am not a completist with the Job Braver line. I really just need to experience one of every mold. You know, you can't, can't get it all, especially when, uh, you know, Hasbro and other companies are dropping stuff so early. Well, unfortunately, it's mostly Hasbro, but... Um, I got this figure from Amazon Japan, and uh, last I checked, I don't know if Big Bad Toy Store is still carrying the line, and I don't know about other online retailers, so besides eBay and other Japanese-based hobby shops, I don't know uh, where else you can get them, but I highly recommend Amazon Japan. Uh, the prices are usually cheaper. Uh, the shipping is actually somewhat uh, uh, fast and reasonable, and it's Amazon, so you're getting that level of quality with them. Um, we're starting off in vehicle mode. Uh, it's a very nice moving truck. Now, I do want to mention, I don't know if it's me or not, uh, or my copy, but according to the pictures on the box, which could just be digital CAD renders, this is not sit this the back should be sitting up flush like that and it's not it, it everything is pegged in properly and things of that nature i just don't know really what's going on and i'm a little hesitant to try and like force things and try to break things uh secondly with uh coco coco Ro, um there is uh, the weapon storage um, this figure comes with these giant gloves. Now, it's not shown in the instructions, but the gloves can peg together and then be stored on the back, just like so. Well, it's not shown in the instructions, as I just said. Uh, Takara does have little transformation videos on their website, um, and it is shown there. So I think it's a nice touch. And those gloves are actually kind of handy and kind of cool. And I do like... The look of the partner droid here it's the same articulation um the arms are ball jointed the legs are really fixed and the elbows uh the wrist elbows are re are on tight detented uh faux ratchets because as we if you've seen this these figures before uh that those become the knees of the of the combined robot so let's get into the combination we'll just go ahead and remove the gloves from the back here and flip the legs up bring the head back again uh, like all the other figures the head they've that they've actually improved the number of stickers needed on these little partner droids i think maybe because this is a licensed one a lot of the logo is all tampa all you had to add were the eyes and you have a selection but uh here you go. We got him in his uh, torso configuration. And right now it actually looks like there's a little bit of a uh, cockpit there. So I don't know if that's intentional or not. But it is, this look at this figure is meant to match the uniforms of the service personnel. Secondly here, um, what you want to do is remove the back section here. And, you know, that reveals a lot of the rear of the vehicle. There are th these logos here on the side these come printed oh it's even with the phone number that's kind of cool uh so what you want to do is split them and then flip out these um i guess would be like knee pad covers or what have you and then um come in the bottom here and rotate the panel down and around and flipping the foot forward so it'll sit flush you want these logos to be on the outside so do it again on this side you know, nice way to reveal the foot. You have like a little, like, hydro laser hydraulic there. Um, so you have that. And then 
we won't go we, you can attach the legs now usually i like to wait but we'll let's go ahead and do it and they do just slide in as they normally do there's a little track right there so you just want to get them in and they will snap into place <laughs> and now of course for the gimmick of the line where let me adjust the camera up slightly you go ahead and insert uh, the upper torso like that press back and that will reveal the robot head and arms they'll spring out you don't have like parts flying off like you used to I guess they kind of changed that bring the arm down rotate it forward do so again on this side just so you know this uh, cab part uh, this comes separate in the in the uh, packaging you do have to peg it on and again you kind of want to like see this go down further like it's you think it's gonna like clip in on this track system right where my finger is but as you can see there's like this curved oval curved piece and that there's just not enough space for it to peg down so there you have the robot in its uh the, the vehicle in its robot mode unfortunately on mine these swivels are a little loose but you know as always you can you know pay, uh, pose the lower section uh, you know you do have ball jointed ankles so there is that bringing the weapons in or the gloves there are actually two ways you can actually you can put them on the figure um, the one is using the peg right here it will sit right into the hand so it looks like a claw of sorts like you know you're clawing at something and then let me just straighten the figure up ah. and the other way is there are some grooves if I can pick that up uh, around the edge here and it's around the hand that can just slide on like that so it just looks like a giant mitt now I think since this is not really a combative vehicle uh, robot I believe these are for you know carrying packages lifting stuff like that and of course a little defense if necessary unfortunately even though the arm is on a ball joint uh, it's a you know there is no forward and back well actually oh there you go there is some forward movement there you can't you just gotta it's the ball joints a little tight so you just gotta push it forward a little and there you go you just get it up and uh if I can get this one to go a little, little for oh there we go there you go and then uh, yeah there you see that makes it a little bit nicer in terms of uh, posability and the action and stuff really fun looking figure there's the head I quite like it uh, I like the logo I like this whole color scheme very nice um, as I always say since you're dealing with a lot of ball joints. Uh, your mileage may vary in terms of the quality of what you're going to get. So, um, let's go ahead and bring this back to vehicle mode. So, remove the hand weapons, straighten the arms out, make sure you bring them back just like so. As always with these like type of plastic joints, try to support the joint as much as you can. Um, and then what you do is... Uh, pull back on that on the torso there that will remove it bring this canopy up you want to rotate around on that joint bring it up and then this will snap into place just like so hmm. previously on mine one of the arms would like to stick out a little and there you have oh see there it just pops out a little see it's doing it now all right so it does do that, but you'll see that the um, the box part will help hold all this into place. But it should uh, sit like naturally flush. And then what you do with the legs is just come in and pull them off. You know, there's no there's no gentle way of doing that. And then uh, go ahead, flip the feet back around. Make sure now that the foot sits flush on that groove or you'll have a hard time putting the canopy on. 
just like that. Flip these panels back in, and it kind of feels like there's a little bit of a spring there, hold, bringing them down. Just go ahead and bring them in. They'll form. That's the back of the uh, uh, trailer there. Well, actually, no, that's the part here that goes up against the cab. And oh, I just had this pop up, so it just pegs right on. I don't know why it did that. But now uh, what we're going to do is the the uh, pegs that were on the front of the feet, the ankles, those are going to now uh, peg into the fists. Why that groove, right where my thumb is, that groove is going to sit in the middle. And you want to make sure this goes down completely and you get a firm snap. And there you go. And like I said, I don't know if it's mine, but it's the back packaging shows it should sit like this. Mine sits a little like that. But the truck does roll. Coming back to Coco Coco Roll, uh, what you want to do now is turn it around, bring the arms, or what were the legs now, the arms back down, flip the head back up, straighten the legs, and then peg the hands together and then right there in the back of the head of the drum. So this is a fun little set. As I've said before, the Job Braver line um, has been the line I've been most excited about uh, in terms of transforming robots in 2022. I think 2022 is a great year for transforming robots. So uh, yeah, we'll pause and we'll come back with my final thoughts. So, like I've said, um, the Job Braver line is really fun. It's, it's a kid-friendly line, let's not forget that. Um, so I think there's a lot of enjoyment there uh, for younger uh, fans. Yes, I think maybe when it comes to like the way the legs connect and stuff, they might need a little bit of a adult help, but... Other than that, um, I really don't see anything out of a child's purview that they can't really do. Um, it would be interesting to see Hasbro bring these to the United States and make them part of the Transformers line, but I really don't see that happening since with Earthspark, they have things pretty much planned out. And price-wise... I'm not sure where this would fit in to their um, stru price pricing structures and what have you. Um, as I said at the beginning of the video, I got this from Amazon Japan. And that's where I recommend getting it now. Quite a few of these are in stock, and there's even a few more up for pre-order, including a silver repaint of, uh, po of the uh, Police Braver, um, which will be the third repaint, or actually second repaint, and uh, third deco overall of that figure in a silver, which I believe, uh, since it's the GTR, kind of gives it a blue streak or silver streak kind of uh, look. So if you want to you know, go for those faux Transformer themes, the black one I'm not too sure about, but definitely the, the first police one you could say was like a prowl style. But yeah, these are a lot of fun. They're not heavily articulated, but they are artic surprisingly articulated for what they do. And I think that's what's important to keep in mind. Um, these are fiddle toys, uh, and, they are, and they're fun. And that's about all that can be said. I am impressed with how, while they're keeping the core trans gimmick to the line, they are finding new ways to make it inventive. And while there's been a couple duds, uh, the helicopters were not wonderful. The motorcycle was not that exciting. I think most of them, you know, are interesting. And yes, I do have the command center, the carry, uh, the giant vehicle, which I am looking to review and will bring to you sooner than later, since that's just a way to bring all your job bravers together. So, this is your old pal Chuck for carry braver. And his little partner, Kokoro, right there in the middle. If you like this review, please consider 
liking, commenting, and subscribing. Um, as I always say, your likes, comments, your views are thanks enough, but the likes, comments, and subscriptions help to communicate to YouTube through the algorithms that my channel should be exalted and held upon high. If you want to make the ultimate sign of support, uh, I do have a Patreon. It is www.patreon.com slash chuckdog1999. All I ask for is a dollar a month or $12 a year. No thrills, no tears, no special rewards. All you're doing is helping me help you to help me help you bring figures like this to you, as well as keeping up the infrastructure of the channel. I know we're in a post-holiday season, so if you have some Christmas money burning a hole in your pocket, why not kick it my way? But, as I always say, I understand that times are tough now. We are dealing in a bit of a recession and um, you know, inflation and all that stuff. So, as I always say, you do you, I'll be fine. Um, I just always appreciate the views, and Patreon is a cherry on top of an already generous Sunday. So, it's your old pal Chuck. We will see you next time.